So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change position of players in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So as you know, if you go ahead and put some of the cards in different positions, they're going to decrease overall. So for example, if I go ahead and put this Hullet card who is 95 overall at striker, he's going to become 81 overall. If I go ahead and put him at a right, mid uh, right midfield position, he's only going to become, or he's going to become 90 overall. So he's only going to lose a 5 overall instead of about like 10 if you go ahead and put him at striker. So different players play in different positions or uh, who loses some, uh, some some overall if he's a, at a right mid or a left mid position but he loses even more overall if you put him in completely different position right just because he's a central midfielder he's a midfielder he doesn't lose as many overalls uh, as left mid as he does for a striker or central back but as I said I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can change uh, the players or position of players pretty much and how you can get pretty much highest overall uh, that you can get for different positions as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use an 81 overall card for an example in this video. And I'm going to go ahead and use this, eight, not 81, sorry, 82 overall Nico Williams as an example. So as you can see, 82 overall Nico Williams at right mid is 82 overall. But if you go ahead and put him at central mid, he's 77. At left mid, he's 79 overall. At striker, he's 69. So he loses a lot of overall at striker. But at, at left mid, as you can see, he's only he only loses three overall. But we can go ahead and make it work where he only loses one overall as a lot midfielder as well. You can go ahead and check um, if, the, if the player has got second position uh, in them as well. So, for example, if you go ahead and look at skills for uh, Nico Williams and level passing up, for example, at level, uh, level three, you can see it says lot mid as a position, as an alternative position. So, Nico Williams can play as a lot midfielder as an alternative position as well. So, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and rank up Nico Williams and you need to rank up any other player as well. You can go ahead and check Guaratshelia's one as well. If you go ahead and take a look at Guaratshelia um, in details, and if you go ahead and take a look at there, you can see he can also play as a right winger and the right midfielder. And that's why he doesn't lose that many skill points as a left, uh, as a left winger, right? He He's like a 99 overall card, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and he becomes 97 overall card as a left midfielder, but he will only become... Uh, 94 at, at striker, he will, he will become like 84 only as a central midfielder. That's pretty much how it works. But if you go ahead and rank up this Nico Williams card, and if you go ahead and use skill points to um, to go and upgrade uh, some of his overall, some of his uh, stats as well, we are going to be able to uh, get a second position where he only loses one overall, I'm pretty sure. So let me go ahead and rank him up. If you go ahead and rank him up to rank two, you can see we can go ahead and use two skill points now. I'm going to use all of them at the same time. If you go ahead and rank him up to rank three, you can now go ahead and... Do, oh, I, I forgot. I need to go ahead and use two players for this one, obviously. I, I got unlucky, though. I did want to get the highest possibility to rank up these players. But yeah, I, I did get unlucky there to not be able to upgrade Nico Williams. Anyways, if you go ahead and use all three of these skill points now... Uh, into, for example, dribbling, you can see it on that left, uh, left hand side that alternative position. Um, there is only right mid right there, but if you go ahead and uh, if you go ahead and upgrade that dribbling to level two and then level three to max level, uh, le uh, left mid position also pops up right there. And that when that left mid pops up, you can go ahead. That that means he can also go ahead and play as a left mid folder, and he's not gonna lose that many overall. So now I ranked him up to rank three, right? If you go ahead and put him at left mid, he becomes 83. So he only loses two overall right now if you go ahead if he goes ahead and plays as a lot of midfielder in my squad which is not that bad in my opinion that is definitely not that bad in my opinion but if you go and rack him up even more um in his in his alternative position he's gonna lose even even less overall. I know some of you might already know this one, but there are a lot of new players in FC Mobile who don't know some of these tricks. And this is pretty much a video for those ones who don't know and who are asking me in, in the comment section down below um, every day pretty much some of these questions. There are, there are always people who ask me this question, for example, um, to like why why we're getting uh, why why the players get lower overall when they are in different position. That's pretty much a reason a reason why they cannot play these positions. But they can definitely have alternative uh, alternative positions like Nico Williams right there. Anyways, let me go ahead and rank him up to rank four. Now we need five players to rank him up to rank four to get the highest possibility. And now at rank four, if you go ahead and use skill point. I'm going to use that skill point and I'm going to upgrade 
his uh, wide um, wide target man. Now you can see that lat mid becomes from orange to light green and that means he's gonna get 99% overall. Now he had 98 overall, 98% uh, overall. And now if I go ahead and upgrade wide target man, he's gonna get 99. You can go ahead and check that one out on that left hand side right there. It was 98, which meant uh, I was losing two overall. Now with 99, uh, with 99, I'm only gonna be losing one overall. So that's that's max as well for wide target man. And now if, you, if I go ahead and put him at that lat mid position, you can see he becomes 85 overall instead of 80, um, 86 overall. So he only loses one overall at, at that lat mid position. And that's pretty much uh, the same with every single other player who have got different uh, who have got different alternative positions as well. That's the same thing with Guara. He loses two overall right now because he's not fully ranked up, right? He, I only ranked him up to rank two, I, I think. I've only ranked him up to rank two. If I rank him up more, he's only gonna lose one overall. I'm pretty sure if I rank uh, this Nico Williams up to rank five, he's not gonna gain any more, right? I think 99% is the highest a player can go um, at, as a rank, uh, as an alternative position, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out again. I'm gonna go ahead and rank him up to rank five. And if I go ahead and use that last skill point on, for example, I'll have to use it on passing or balanced and yeah it only becomes to 99 overall you cannot go higher than 99 but if you go ahead and rank a player up to rank four and if you use your skill points you're gonna be able to play that card in their second position in their alternative position and they're only gonna lose one overall right there as you can see he was 87 overall and now he's 86 overall as a lot midfielder as a central midfielder he's gonna become 82 overall so he's gonna lose five overall still as a striker he's gonna lose um, uh, quite a lot of overall and as a center back he's gonna lose overall as well somehow he loses more overall as a striker than as a lot as a center back that doesn't really make that much sense for me but i guess that's how the game works right that's how the game works again that doesn't really make sense for me he he loses only one less overall as a center back than he loses as a uh, as a central midfielder as well not really sure how how that's even possible but yeah i just used nico williams 82 overall card as an example but you can go ahead and do that with every single higher overall card as well you can go ahead and check uh wh which other positions these players can play so for example hold it if you go ahead and level him up to level three he can play as a central back as an alternative position and as a central forward as well um and yeah that's 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 quite decent right there for hold it um as well as I'm pretty sure Robert Carlos is not going to be able to play any other position. Uh, Marque uh, Marquezio is probably going to be able to play as a CDM as well. Yep, he can play as a CDM. Uh, Marquezio, um, yeah, there are some other cards. For example, uh, Robbie Keane, I think he's going to be able to play as a striker only. And some other ones. Let me go ahead and check some of the other cards. Jairzinho, let's go ahead and see where Jairzinho can play. I think as a, as a right midfielder is a safe guess. I think he can, he can play as a right midfielder as well. If we level him out to level three, yep, he can play as a right midfielder as well. And uh, Joe Cole might be able to play as a left winger, right midfielder, some like that. Left mid, right mid, yep, I was quite right with that one as well. So let me know down in the comment section if you know knew about that. Uh, some of you who have played this game for a couple of months already, you probably knew this trick. You know, you probably knew how you could change your positions and how you can play the players in different positions with losing minimum only one overall. But some of you are new and did not know about that and were asking questions about this. So this is with, this video is pretty much for you.